So this is a quick update on my Tormach mill that I bought. Um, this was a used unit. If you didn't see, I did a video on unloading it and moving it and all that kind of stuff. Um, so made a few upgrades. I've got a lot more coming. I actually just placed an order with Tormach um, for the tool changer. I actually got the automatic, um, the smart cool setup with the air, a bunch of tooling, the turret for the lathe, uh, just just a bunch of stuff coming. Um, I did not buy the uh, did not buy the fourth axis yet. I don't really have a project that needs it yet. The the two things I'm kind of working on don't don't have any requirement for it. Um, but the fourth axis did kind of lead me to some to buy this uh, fixture plate um, from Tosa Tool, and it didn't really work out the way I had expected it to. I I, I probably can modify it or maybe work around it. I need to see about the next thing we're going to talk about um, which is the Kirk vices uh, that I bought so my idea was with the tool changer I need to have the fourth axis on the right hand side but I wanted to be able to get as all of the fourth axis outside of the working envelope um, of the machine but this plate can only because of where it mounts you can only go so far um, so far to the right with it. I have it as far as it'll go. Um, you could make or they sell a plate to mount the fourth axis um, and, and mount it out further. Once I get the fourth axis, I can play with that. Um, but for right now, I mean, I kind of like just the way that it makes it look like a more serious machine. Um, so, you know, that's a plus, I guess. Um, the other thing, and, and I noticed, uh, I hadn't noticed it in particular in some NYC CNC videos, but the uh, original uh, non-enclosure enclosure will still fit on here. So my intention is to build my own enclosure. Um, it was sort of a silly, hey, we're going to have a, a project. And then I also looked at the numbers and thought, hey, instead of spending $2,500 on that, I can spend $2,500 on something that's in a crate over here that we'll see. Maybe another video from uh, Bailey. Um, so this will work. It won't work, obviously, with that fourth axis on there. But until I get the enclosure done, I can still use coolant and, and everything. And so, and so that's a nice plus. So what we're uh, what the main focus of today's video is that I bought two Kirk vices and they're brand new vices from Kirk is my understanding. Um, they're called uh, the DX6, and we're gonna do this little a little ghetto here. Um, so the main reason I bought this this is a replacement for their D688 that. I've never used whatever, but newer is always better, right? So this has a nine inch opening. The the vice I had been looking at um, was from GMT, their, uh, their premium six inch vice. But what really got me is, well, so you've got a different capacity on the inside, but the biggest downfall on, on this machine is this distance right here and on on the GMT vice it was two and three quarters of an inch well if we go back to sorry if we go back to the Kurt vice well they're 2.3 so that's a pretty decent difference of workable area now these things are still in the box so I don't know how that's actually going to work out, um, but my intention is I bought two of these. I'm going to get them mounted to this fixture plate, and uh, we'll see how see how that goes. These are supposed to be able to be mounted a little bit differently than the than the uh, 688 was. Again, I, I didn't use the 688, so I have no idea. Um, and then my other. They've got something with the jaws, and I, I researched that before, but I can't really remember. I think that's just a stop you can set um, for a hard stop as far as positioning.
but my intention is to is to put a set of car smart jaws on it they've also got a neat jaw that's got uh, got some multiple pins in it um, so I may do that down the road but for right now we're gonna go ahead and get these things uh, get these things unboxed and uh, set them up on here okay so we got all these uh, vices up here on the table and you know I I really kind of have a soft spot for stuff that kind of as they say looks the business and uh, and these certainly do compared to the Tormach um, Tormach vice here I mean you can't really fault that this is I think these are 200 and I don't know they're somewhere between 200 and 300 dollars um, I picked these up for just under five uh, 500 a piece um, from a company called Marshall Tool. It was one of the cheapest places that I found. Um, I did a couple of these uh, little plugs had fallen out, and uh, you know, so when you're don't throw the box away until you make sure that you've got all of these. Um, that's one of the differences, uh, I guess, if I recall from from the uh, the D688 is that this one can be bolted through the body into you know onto your machine um, you don't have to use any outside um, any outside clamps those do line up I mean they don't line up with the uh, they don't line up with the holes in the uh, in the in the Tosa tools fixture plate so I'm not going to be able to use that Just double check yeah, I was making sure I was on a threaded hole there. Yeah, those don't those don't seem to line up with the uh, with their hole pattern. I'd have to look at dimensions or measure it or something in order to tell. But they do line up with the rails in the uh, in the in the factory um, factory uh, Tormach mount. Um, so so you could use it that way. So if it's lined up. Just to give you an idea of a little bit of difference here. So this one is set up so that it will it will fit if you wanted to through bolt it into both of those rails and, and set it up that way. But the problem is you lose this usable area here in the back. Um, the way I'm going to set them up is in the position that this one is in because we're limited in this direction to, you know, we can't even come out all the way to the front of where this vise is when it's all the way open, even if I have it all the way back. So the further back I can get it, the better, you know, the more workable actual area we're gonna have within the vise. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get these mounted up, play a little bit with getting them, uh, getting them trammed in. Um, they do have, see how that comes off but that's that little little stop there so we'll uh, we'll go ahead and get that going so these plugs are really nice they've got a little uh, you know a little rubber o-ring as you would expect with anything in this kind of price category Okay, so I've got these in the uh, position that I'm going to put them in, I think, um, at least for now until we get that fourth axis and see how, uh, see how we're going to get that to work in there. Um, so I've got the little, this is the little positioner that they give you that uh, you can set on the jaw here. It's got a little Allen to tighten it down so you can set up your position that way. Again, I'm going to probably replace these with the Carve Smart jaws. That's my thinking. Um, this stores down down here by the handle it has a little little groove that it fits in and you just tighten it back down there so I've got this open all the way here um, so this is nine inches which is more than than you can reach with this machine um, and then from outside to outside I think it's just under 17 um, so that's nice one of the other features, and I guess they, they have a lot of things on here on this new design that are focused on coolant, I guess evacuating and chips evacuating through the vise. Um, so, I don't, and, and part of this is just for setup, but they've got where you take one 
one screw out and then this will this will separate but it shows that the way this kind of pulls down as it uh, as it goes together and they've got that lubricated um, but they've got ports set up for the for the coolant to drain through and and, uh, and come out but that's the uh, that's the position all the way open They've also got a nice handle on the back here for lifting it that the other one didn't have, I guess. Um, so all these just kind of add up to, to little pluses, and there wasn't really a big price difference um, between the new one and the old one. So I would say if you're in the market, I would go ahead and get the newer one. Again, I'm not a not an expert on vices. I haven't used the you know the only other one I've had is the Tormach one, so not a lot of comparison to be made there, but. Um, these seem to be really nice, really high quality. Obviously, they should be for the price that they that they go for. But uh, go ahead and get these set up, and uh, we've got a few more a few more projects coming. I'm going to work on the plasma table. Uh, once I get the, I've got a drill. I got to drill and tap 12 feet of tubing, and I bought these linear rails, and so they need to be screwed every three inches and tapped. Um, so the idea is when I get the tool changer installed, we're going to try to do that on here. Um, so look for that in a future video.